All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So the Game Awards are in a week, I think. And they've made an amendment, added a clause, a change, an addition to the Game Awards FAQ page that people noticed uh, yesterday. Well, I think it, I pretty, it's pretty much confirmed that it went up yesterday, which I'm going to get to because I checked Wayback Machine, um, which is the site that you can check the status of web pages um, at a certain date, what they look like at a certain date. So I'm pretty sure it look it seems to me um, and most people assume this, but I just wanted to confirm. It seems to me that they added this literally yesterday and the the change was let me bring it up right now and I'll actually switch screens. Um, so as you can see here, it says uh, the question at their FAQ page is our DLC is expansion packs and remakes remasters eligible. Uh, it says the Game Awards aims to, let me zoom in a little bit, the Game Awards, uh, look at my big ass face, even though it's beautiful, you know, uh, the Game Awards aims to recognize the best creative and technical work each year, irrespective of the format of that content's release. Expansion packs, new game seasons, DLCs, remakes, and remasters are all eligible in all categories. If the jury deems the new create, uh, creative and technical work to be worthy of a nomination, factors such as the newness of the content and its price value should be taken into consideration. Okay. Um, so I was curious because, you know, like I said, I wanted to make sure that this is something that they, because I think this is, this is clearly something that they've recently added, like on paper. But I think this is something that they, Technically, I think this is something that they abided by. It just wasn't written out. It wasn't explicitly said on their FAQ page. It was like, yes, but it's not official. It's not, it was like unofficially true. Um, but now they've just went out their way to make sure it's clear that these things can be nominated in, in these categories uh, at the Game Awards. Um, because they've nominated remakes before, obviously, like, you know, there's been, and, and what most people care about is, uh, the game of the year category. Cause we know like Resident Evil 2, you know, obviously Final Fantasy is a remake. So they've nominated, they, they put remakes, um, and remasters in several categories before. Not sure about DLCs. I think, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about DLCs and expansions. I think they've put those before in certain categories, but categories that they belonged in. But this is clearly because of Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. That's why they've made this addition. There's no doubt about it. That's, that's very clear. If that DLC did not come out, this, they probably would not have added that, added this in, this FAQ in to their website. Now, so, like I said, I went to uh, Wayback Machine. So this is Wayback Machine. I have the date. Um, January 11th, because I just wanted to, let me move my beautiful face again. Um, I just wanted to check what it looked like. As you can see right there, it says uh, January 11th. I had to adjust that a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is what the page looked like the beginning of this year. I wanted to see what it looks like. And as you can see, the font is different. Um, so you could tell this is an older page and it does not have that... Uh, the statement regarding the paragraph regarding the remakes and remasters because it comes right after this one. Um, now this is November 13th, three days ago. Still not here. Comes right after this, as you can see, still not here. Nothing about DLCs. So they literally added this one day ago, which is why it's here now. Um, I'm not in an uproar about this like everybody else is. I don't, I don't necessarily have an issue with this. I do think it's strange that y'all add this last minute, right? Because my thing is, yo, that, that DLC came out pretty early this year. I forgot what month it was, but it came out pretty early this year. So you had plenty of time to kind of like make, make this change and let people know way ahead of time, hey, just so people know, 
these are eligible. This kind of seems like a last minute thing that they're just putting out there. And a lot of people are going to be upset because it's like, oh, you're kissing from so software's ass. You're, you're like, you, you, you know, you're just kind of pandering to from software and you're pandering to Elden Ring. And me, like I said, I, I don't necessarily have an issue with DLCs, expansion packs, remakes and remasters um, being eligible for for awards, any award. I do think it should be in I, I think it, it should be in very special circumstances. I don't think it should be the norm. It, I don't think it should be the norm at all. I think this this should be in very rare instance when the DLC, the remake, the whatever it is, is so fucking good that you just have to include it. This this goes above and beyond what we consider to be your typical DLC. This this work of art, this creation is so good that we that it has to be nominated, it has to be considered, it has to be eligible. I don't think it should be a norm, which I don't think it's it's going to be. It is going to be like if you make something like Shadow of the Earth Tree. Also, I, but I can see some people being kind of like uh, offended by it because some people may look at their a game they really like, and if it's not nominated for Game of the Year and some Elden Ring DLC is, I can see people being upset about that also. Um, I don't think Shadow of the Earth Tree is going to win. The DLC was great. Was it some life-changing, once-in-a-lifetime, revolutionary DLC? No, it was just more Elden Ring. Some people may think that's enough. But yes, the people suck off Elden Ring and From Software way too much. I agree with that. Like, li listen, I love the I love the game, but absolutely people bow down to it and they they glaze that game way too fucking much. That's that is that is true. Um, I don't. I'm not worried. I don't think it's gonna win. Even if it does win, I'm not really bothered by that. I don't get bothered by what game wins game of the year what game wins any nominee i've never been one of those people who are like upset about it like when overwatch went over uncharted people were pissed i'm like bro it's to me the game awards is just pure entertainment like do i like do i react and think like oh some some this game should have won instead of this game sure but some people act like they are personally invested like they had money on the line and acting like they're betting on the super bowl or, or some shit like they had parlays or something. I don't. I don't know. Um, to me, it's all just entertainment. Every every single year uh, with this game with this game awards thing, it's. I think it's good to see the developers that deserve it win. But I kind of like the upsets. I like when people get jilted. I like when people get upset. It's f the seeing the reactions on Twitter are funny. It is what it is. Um, yeah, it's 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 weird to me that there's some people that get actually uh, upset about it. I, I personally don't. Like I said, to me, all the just I only looked this up just because it was uh, I was curious. And um, I think they should have had a little bit more foresight to make sure they added that m beforehand because it just look optically. It's just the optics of it. It looks very bad for you to add this literally a week before the game awards so it should have been done um it should have been done uh you know it's okay because the nominees get get announced in two days so that looks even fucking worse it, it looks like you're just trying to shoehorn um some uh you know some shadow of the earth tree in there it so it just optically looks bad i i don't think it says you know People are sensationalizing it, I think, blowing it a little bit out of proportion. It's not that serious. It's not that bad. But it just looks bad optically. But I think y'all will get y'all get over it. It's 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 gonna be okay. Um people with this, oh, it's fixed, oh, it's rigged. I'm like, y'all, y'all gotta relax. Y'all gotta relax, man. Like it's it's I don't like I said, I don't think it's gonna win. I definitely think it'll be nominated and if you ask me my opinion, does it deserve to be nominated? I think there are there are enough games where it shouldn't get a spot. I think there are enough good games, new brand new games, 
uh, non DLC games that came out this year that it should that, that those games should get priority and not Shadow of the Earth Tree. I do think that, but also I'm not going to lose my mind over it. I th so that's why I said this should only be done. This should be a thing. Though you know those type of con uh con that type of content should be eligible, but it should only be in very special circumstances where for example yo this when, when when like this year is so dry and i'm saying not saying this year but a year is so dry where there are no absolute shoo-in nominees then we start to consider the expansions and the dlcs it shouldn't be in a year where we have some clear games that are nominees and deserve to be in those six spots because there's only six spots. Um, because I think we have so Metaphor Re Fantasio, that's it, that's in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, that's in Astrobot, that's in. Now that they've put this clause or this addition to the FAQ, it's safe to say that. Shadow of the Earth Tree is in. So that's our four locked in spots. The other, I'm going to say Black Myth Wukong is in. Not because I think it absolutely deserves it, but because of how much of a hit it was when it came out. Because sometimes it's not all about Metacritic score. That's usually, you know, the, the critical acclaim is usually the main thing, the main indicator. But if it's if it falls into the 80s, like if a game falls into the 80s, then I think it goes to like sales and, you know, just its popularity. And how, even though it may be in, in the 80s, how many people actually loved it and, how you know, how did the industry feel about it? You know, that type of stuff. Um, so that's so when Black Myth was like, one, what, the second, third highest selling game? It's, it, it sold something crazy, you know, and, and of course, a lot of that was in China, but still, it sold, sold a shit ton. So, and usually, like, an indie game or a Nintendo game is in there, so it could be uh, Echoes of Wid Wisdom, or there was another Nintendo game that scored higher than Echoes of Wisdom, can't remember exactly what it is, it wasn't Brotherly, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't Brothership, I think it was something, something else. Um, but either way, usually a Nintendo game is in, ga is in Game of the Year. Also, if we're talking about popularity and like just having um, just being having a huge cultural moment and being in the zeitgeist, nothing had a moment like Helldivers 2 this year. Right. Once I don't think I think there was a time where Helldivers 2 would have gotten nominated. I, I don't think so anymore. But because it was such a hit, you know, when it came out, like it, it literally controlled the Internet for like three months. Um, and, and sometimes that's enough to get, to get you, to get you in, um, Dragon's Dogma also came out. I don't think that's going to be in, uh, Dragon Age came out, uh, that's in the eighties. So, you know, but I think we have an absolute locked in, locked in four at least. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's my opinion on it. It's not that serious. It's not that big of a deal, but they, sh it shouldn't be common practice. Uh, it shouldn't be commonplace for, uh, DLCs to, um, and expansions to be in there because I, I think, I, because I think that's like tier two, right? Original game should be tier one. That's what you mainly consider tier two are the DLCs and expansions. Uh, but remake remakes. Some people feel differently, but I think depending on the quality and the caliber of the remake, I would put remakes also in the tier one consideration. Like if it's something like a Resident Evil 2 or a Final Fantasy, because it's yes, it's not a, an original game, but it's a brand new game literally created from from the ground up and nothing like it's original remasters remasters to me are different. Remasters are definitely in tier tier two. I don't I honestly. I don't even think remasters should honestly be considered for game of the year, right? Or even a bunch of other categories because I I I feel very differently about remakes versus remasters, and I I actually don't like when people 
lump those two things in. A lot of people act like remakes and remasters are just one and the same. I'm like, bro, y'all gotta, y'all got to differ, differentiate remakes and remasters. There's, there's a huge difference between the two. And I don't like when people just consolidate those, those two things. Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this. Are you mad? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's fair? Whatever. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Hit the like button. All that good shit. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.